one of the biggest issues that I found after my stroke was not so much the, the fact that I lost my arm and leg, more so I lost my mind is I've got, I mean, I got really super depressed. Depression is something that follows me every single day. Even though after I found Kratom and stuff like that, I'm more on a higher level, but I still suffer, I mean, even today, I'm, I'm a bit down. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm starting to wonder the same things, you know, am I ever gonna get better? Is life ever gonna get any easier? Am I ever gonna have fun again? Or is this it? Is this what life is gonna be like for the rest of my life now? I mean, will I ever find happiness? If these are questions you're asking yourself after your stroke, or even just because, I mean, I think the majority of people suffer some sort of depression. I suffer it because of the fact that I had a stroke. I think because those neuron, dopamine and norepinephrine and serotonin aren't flowing freely in my brain like they would be in a normal person's brain because I've got a big hole in it. And that hole really... So I take medication for my depression because to keep it at bay without the depression, without the medication or the, the proper medication, I ended up in the hospital four times for trying to hurt myself. After the third time, they did electroconvulsive therapy on me, or ECT, which was an experience in itself that wasn't nearly as scary because basically I laid on the gurney. They gave me an IV. They put me to sleep. I woke up what seemed like a second later with a headache and an achy body, wondering what the hell just happened. And I went through about nine ECT treatments and it did really, uh, to be honest with you, it did actually help me with my depression. It felt like it kind of jolted me out of it. But it, and it lasted a pretty long time too. That in conjunction with my medicine, talk therapy has never been effective for me at all. I've, I see no point in it, which is ironic because I have a degree in psychology and actually two degrees in psychology, one in research psychology and one in, exp in counseling psychology. So the irony is that I don't, I find talk therapy is very ineffective for me, maybe because of what I know about it. You know, and I'm, I'm constantly critiquing my therapist for how they're treating me or not treating me or whatever. So in short, everybody suffers depression. How you get through it, I would say try Kratom. Kratom for me has really lifted me out of my depression. It, it's like a mild euphoria going on all the time, so which overpowers the depression that I feel. So I've been using a yellow vein Kratom, a new vein that I found called Yellow, and it's it's fairly euphoric. Like. I can't complain about it. It does have a mild sedation, but the euphoria overwhelms the sedation by far. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the in the comments below. And also, please subscribe and like my video if, if you get anything out of them at all. Even if you don't, just let me know one way or the other. Maybe I ramble too much. Maybe I don't have a clear focus. Maybe my content sucks. But I'd like to hear from you all. Thanks. Like and subscribe.